Greetings friends, Terry Jed here. Uh, I'd like to show you how to use the NL Setup compiler that uh, I use on a lot of different software. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to use it with the uh, mobile business card generator software. And it, it's very simple. Follow along with me here. Uh, I'm assuming that you've already gotten your software rebranded. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, rebrand re it and uh, save it to a folder. And then once you have it, save it to that fold, save to that folder. We're going to make an installer here for Windows machines. What this does is put it in a start menu, makes it easy for people to find. Okay, and also as a bonus, you can put a, a shortcut to your site on the people's machines. Okay, so follow along here, as I stated on the web page, and the URL to that web page is below the video here. You can go to Inno and get the setup compiler. Make sure, make sure that you get the quick start version. The quick start version has a script wizard built into it, okay? And it will make things a lot easier for you. I'm sorry today, <clears throat> I've got a uh, frog in my throat. I can't hardly talk, so a little throat clearing and pausing of the video, I apologize for, but we'll get through this. Okay, so you've got it installed and you've got this, you're to this point here. You want to create a new script file using the script wizard. And do not, I suggest you do not uncheck this or, or do not check this because you want it to show this every time, or I do anyway, it's up to you, but it makes it easy to find this way. So we're going to create a new script file using the script wizard. So here we go. And we leave that unchecked. We go to next and your application name is how it's going to install on the Windows machine. So and you put your version, you put your company name here. And the cool thing is uh, you put your application website here and what that'll do is is a couple of things. It puts it within the software there, but it I'll show you how to include a shortcut to this site, whatever site you put in here, in the user's start menu. Cool, huh? So, okay, I've got that done. Go next. Okay, we want the application to install in the program's files folder. Yes, that's the name and allow user to change the application folder. I always leave that checked and what's that, what that means is, is if they don't want to install it in program files, they can install it in C, D, whatever. So just leave it checked. Okay, so now we've got to find the actual file that you rebranded, right? So we browse to the folder that you have created with your rebranded software in it. Just browse to it wherever you saved it at. Okay, I have browsed to mine. I'm going to pick it. It's the exe file. It's the only file showing in there at the moment. That's the one we want. Do not mess with the brander folder. You're only choosing this one. Open. Okay, now here is where a very important step. Do not, and I repeat, do not overlook this step or nothing's going to work correct. We want to add files. Okay, so we're going to add some files here and it's going to open up in the same folder we were in earlier. This is the one you just added, okay, the exe file. Now we need to add this one, this one, this one, and this one. You need to add four files and what I did was help down on my control key and chose with my mouse, okay, by clicking, left clicking. I've got four files chosen and that's all I want. I'm going to open, they appear here, right? And we leave this the way it is, allow user to start the application after fin up, after setup is finished. I would leave that like it is, that is not checked. We'll go next, okay, there's the application start menu folder name. Allow the user to change it. I would if I was you make it flexible for them okay and that I leave 
unchecked because I want them to have a start folder menu. Okay, now this is the cool part. Create an internet shortcut in the start menu folder. The URL that we entered earlier, this will be an internet shortcut to it. They click it and it's going to take them to that site. In my case, it was makeqrcodesonline.com. And always make a, an install, uninstall icon in there. Make it easy for your users. If they don't want the program, make it easy for them to install. Uh, it's not because they don't like you. <laughs> Maybe they just don't have any use for the program. You want to make it easy for them so they'll come back to you. Okay, allow user to create a desktop icon. And you can allow user to create a quick launch icon. That's what I checked. You don't have to. Okay. So what you could do now, if you wanted to, if you have a license file, you can put that in here. And it can be a, a text file, okay? And that's totally up to you. But you just, if you make your text files prior to this, and you this, this is the same thing here, information shown, information file shown before and after, make up text files, and these will appear during installation and after, okay? And the license file, they'll have to agree to it up to you if you want to use it. I normally don't depending on the software. This one I'm not. And of course it's in the English language. Now you've got to choose where you want this program that we're making right now, the setup program, to be saved. So browse to the folder. It's up to you. I always create, when I'm working on stuff like this, I create one folder, a project folder for this project. And within it, I make different folders, okay? This would be the setup program folder, or whatever you want to call it. That's how I do it to keep everything together. Okay, pause the video there and keep from having to make it longer than it needs to be. And I chose my folder. I made a folder within the project folder, okay? And that's how I keep things organized. It's up to you how you do things. Okay, the compiler output base file name. So this is basically... What this is, is you want them to know what they downloaded, right? Find it on their hard drive. So we're just going to call it Mobile Site Builder Setup. Now, if you like, you can put separate it however you want to do it. Okay, you can also have a nice little icon. Uh, and it's nice to have. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. But you can always go to uh, Google, go to Images, and search for free icons. ICO extension, okay? It's got to be an ICO extension just like this. You browse to a folder, and you get it, okay? It's the only kind you can use is ICO extension. And I just I picked one here. I had a cell phone here that I can use. Set up password. No, not going to worry about that. Okay, so here we go. Now we're at the end. You leave this just like it is checked. Do a next. Do a finish. And it builds this for you, right? This is the script that builds your actual setup. And would you like to compile the new script now? What it's asking you is, do you want to build your setup program? Yes, let's build it. Would you like to save the script before compiling? Yes, of course. Save it so you can use it later. You might want to change the name. You may want to make some changes or something. Save it. And again, I save it in my project folder. Okay, went ahead and saved it. And just for shoots and grins here. Heck, sorry about this throat problem here. We'll get through it, though. We're working on it. Just for shoots and grins here, let's go ahead and show you how to use this if you want to do it manually here, you know. So we could save it and make it and compile it and all that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do this manually also. And I say manually, I press the button here. Let's go back here. I press the button. And just in case, I'm doing this in case you actually, and I've seen people do it, get confused and close the window. Okay, so all I did was go up here to this fourth one over. It says compile. Compile it, and we'll save it again. And, of course, me doing this as an example for you, I'm not going to really save this. I'm calling it Scratch Setup. You can call it whatever you would like. I suggest you call it whatever you called the program, Mobile 
mobile uh, setup software, whatever the case may be, save it the same so you can find it later. Again, it may come in handy. So we'll save it, and you'll notice that it's running. Let it do its thing and finish. It gets down to the bottom and says finished, right? So let's go find that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there is the compiled program. We set it up in set up scratch, right? That's the folder that we made for this. And when you click on it, it's going to, yep, I've got mine set kind of tight there. It's going to pop up, and there you go. That's what we call it. Welcome to My Mobile Site Builder Setup Wizard. It's going to go through and ask all the questions and set it up. And that's all there is to it. I suggest that you always test it, install it on your system first before you distribute it. Hope this will help you out, and hey, stick around. We'll do another video together.